We're going to envision what life is going to be like in about 50 years. Close your eyes if you wish. You may be living. Your children may be living. Your grandchildren will certainly be living. How old are they going to be? What are their passions? What do they want to do to make the world a better place? What's going to motivate them? Is it going to be the land? Is it going to be their quality of life? Is it going to be food? Is it going to be making the world better? In 2067, Charleston is a vibrant place for businesses. Local businesses thrive. The latest technology is used by the new Boeings and Googles of the world. Tourists continue to visit, and our quality of life is good. With your mind's eye, take a look around. Our cars are recharged with electricity. Our electricity is fueled from offshore renewable wind as well as community solar. Our homes that have been talked about today, they are so efficient that your energy bill has not gone up in years. No lost energy escapes. Our heating and air conditioning have become super highly efficient. Our rooftops collect our rainwater, green roofs, our yards soak up as much water as possible. What you smell is the bakery that's just down the road. Your home is a dangerous walk from that bakery and other shops. Within 526, it is safe and easy to walk or bike to groceries and offices. Carta now runs every 15 minutes like clockwork. Almost no one needs a car that lives inside 526. There's a lane now in both directions that's devoted to driverless carpoolers and other high occupancy vehicles. The food that sustains us is grown in one of two places, outside the city ring and on urban agricultural sites and greenhouses in the city. These and other actions accomplished by many around our globe and in this room, have limited our Earth's warming. We are proud of you, those of you who have come before us. Thank you.